Welcome to Dama on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. We're sitting and enjoying some yummy food at Crystal Jade. Thank you so very much for hosting us. And I have one fabulous guest, Inside Out. She is so well put together. Um, I love her personality. I think she has an infectious personality. Sara Ilias, I got your name right. Yes, you yeah. did. So if, you, if you're wondering, you might have seen her on Instagram. She has gorgeous photographs, not only of her, but also her family. She's an entrepreneur. She has created some amazing things. And more than all of that, I think the biggest title I could give her is she's a mum. She's yeah. a cool mum. Yeah, said it perfectly. So tell me, you, you have popped out three. And how in the world <laughs> do you look like this? Um, I think I'm carrying three. <laughs> No, I mean, no, I get that question a lot and actually yeah. I... Like uh, you have a jawline. I do. Yeah. Let's not say how. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I get that question a lot of, from a lot of moms, followers and, you know, even my friends and stuff like that. And actually I haven't, uh, you know, snapped back. I feel like my body changes every time I give birth. But I think it's accepting, you know, that change slowly. Correct. And, you know, the mindset of, you know, getting back to a new you. Uh, and accepting that because everyone wants to bounce back mm. and go back to where they are but that's not life and that's not motherhood and that's not yeah. you know being a woman you have to kind of progress forward um, and I do have when you mentioned you know being an entrepreneur I do have uh, actually a service here um, that I launched in Sri Lanka for postpartum healing uh, for moms uh, to actually help with that uh, yeah. reduction so it's a like this tummy tucking tying yeah, thing right? Yeah it is right? actually it's a, it's a Malaysian Indonesian um, kind of treatment and mm. I was lucky enough to get it in Malaysia for all three of my kids. Mm. My friends started having kids here and then I thought, you know, I can't imagine something that's not there to take care of mums because we're so focused, our mentality is all about children. Yeah, and the minute you give birth, you're like, okay. I know, so Child. yeah, so it's been great and we've been helping so many mums out and building that community and like they feel good and you know, I feel good about that because happy mom, happy everything. Mm. Um, so yeah. Brilliant. So you schooled here. What made yes. you sort of move to Malaysia? Yeah, so I was actually at Bishops College and AIS, both represent. Um, I are you more Bishops or are you more AIS? I don't know. Um, you know, but there is something about these local schools, yeah, right? You know, you're like, is. I'm a Bishop here. Yes, yes, there but is. But you can never do that too. I am from <laughs> AIS. <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll yeah. give you that. Like yeah. when I pass by bishops, I'm like, oh my god, I remember the royal Thomian and then the, yeah. the guys jumping in and like all those times that you know uh, we had. It is special. I'll yeah, say that. Is. that. There's it something is. about For it. For some reason, we are so patriotic to our schools, so and we don't is know true. why. No, no, that is true. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. If it's anyone who reaches out to me and they say I'm a bishop, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Yeah. Like I don't need to see anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then if they say, okay, I'm from this house, yeah. I'm like, okay. Even. Oh my god, that's more. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. So no, I get what I get what you mean. Um, yeah, so to Malaysia, actually, um, it was just for studies, uh, finished, uh, you know, and then my parents were like, please go somewhere. Like, don't stay here. <laughs> I mean, I'm put together now, but I was a bit rebellious, okay. you know, and my mom and dad were like, oh God, like, he's just, just leave go. the country. <laughs> Literally, my dad was like, just go anywhere, wherever yeah. you want. And I accidentally walked into a trade um, show of like universities with a friend. And um, I, I mean, you know, I was sharing my grades and the guy was like, okay, you know, you can actually get a full scholar. And my dad was like, anything, like, you know, whatever. Just keep it somewhere just, else just from Sri Lanka. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, no, daddy, you, I don't want to go to Malaysia. And he was like, okay, you can transfer somewhere else, just go. And I went there and like, that's it. I mean, you know, fell in love with it. I met some of my best friends, my then boyfriend, now husband. Um, and it just took off and it's been touch wood, you know, very lucky for us. and. Uh, it's definitely home. How many well. years has it been? Since 12. Oh, so 12 more years. Malaysian than Sri Lankan now? No, I mean, I mean yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But can you speak? No, Malay? Yeah. I can understand a little bit. Right. But like, no, I wouldn't. No. no. Just, just, just leave it there. Yeah. yeah. So if you ever go to Malaysia, just you know, heat her up. <laughs> you know, someone. Uh, so we did a movie together. So that's our yeah. connection. That's how I got to know her yeah. uh, more. Mm. Um, I actually was not introduced to her before, and I asked, so who is this person, <laughs> Sarah Ilyas? <laughs> because who her character is just fabulous and big, and I was like, who are you? Mm. Who is she? Yeah. <laughs> and then the director explained it to me this way. He said, we have people with million followers on Instagram here. She has around 60 odd thousand followers on Instagram. 
but they will give their life for her. Oh. They are solid people. I was like, oh, that's a way to describe Sandari. Oh my God! That's how wow. uh, that's how Neil Sandari introduced. That's so sweet. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. wow, that's yeah. that's amazing. And because I could be dead on the road and nobody will come. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll take a picture, tag him, oh he's dead. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, but you have such a fabulous following because mm. you had your retail brand brought here, which we are going to talk about. Yeah. And <laughs> that was actually a cue. It was a bit of a stamp he took yeah, inside. That's like, that's like when uh, Rachel went to buy her bridal yeah, dress, not Rachel, uh, Monica. Yeah. It was one of those. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I, I talk about this deal, Shara, and a lot of brands that I work with as well. And, you know, a lot of brands that I do work with or engage with, they really don't even look at the following. It's more of the engagement. And, you In know, that day, that's kind of what stuff. matters, you know. And I think the type of content that I do share or the journey I've been through, you know, like from one child to another, to my work life, to my entrepreneurial life, my, you know, you know, my uh, date nights, all that stuff, there's snippets that you do feel like you are really a part of, you know, our family and, you know, our friends and the, I mean, the love that's shown towards the kids. It's not just, oh my God, you're so cute, you know, they really know details about the kids yeah. and, you know, they call them by their pet names, like, you know, by your girlie, they call my grandma Ums, like my grandma's like, I'm shopping at Kiehl's and, you know, people are coming in saying Ums and she's like, I'm not everyone's Ums, Ooms. like, you know, <laughs> but um, end of the day, there is a level of connect connectivity. No, 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 that's fine. Your mic fell, but that's a good cue for us to like go into a break. Yeah. Uh, we're going to get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. I want to speak about your retail brand. Uh, it's amazing. It's wearable by everyone. Even I can get into one of those. We'll speak more when we do come back. You stick around. It's Down on Fire at Crystal Jet. Welcome back to the show. It's Done on Fire. We're checking out Crystal Jade. If you have not been here, it's at One Golf Face Colombo. Do come enjoy some great food here. And I have this beautiful lady next to me. Um, actually, I was quite excited about this show for a few reasons. Um, let's speak about your followers. Now, I did speak about it. Uh, you told me some amazing stories. Yeah. Uh, apart from the, uh, uh, the abuse that I go through or like the vicious pictures I've got, like, you know, terrible organs I've seen. Um, people have been kind to me. Yeah. But they have really like, yeah. they've come to you with so much of uh, approachability. Is yeah. that a word like that? Yeah, I think yeah, so. yeah. yeah. Um, no, so like I was telling you, I mean, the way I've shared content, I think it's been a little bit organic, you know, with my family and my, you know, my personal life. Um, not that I share everything, yeah, but sure. as you really. said, I do let people in. And um, the love they show towards the kids, the, the questions they ask me, I feel like, you know, they look towards the profile for a feel-good factor. And I try to be aspirational, inspirational. So I hear a lot of girls who've given up on career after they got married being like, no, we want to work. And, you know, moms who haven't been able to have kids and, you know, kind of manifested and like, you know, um, you know, really pulling through that process because that's also hard. And then moms who have given birth and, you know, they're going through stuff and then they're like design students. I recently met, met a girl in Kale. She came up to me and she said that, you know, she was studying engineering, but she switched her degree to fashion because, you know, she really wanted to do that. And it's those things that are really gratifying. Um, and, you know, that's what I keep doing. And they're great. They're, all of them are so great, so lovely. And I meet them all the time, yeah. uh, you know, wherever I go. And they always come and say hi. So, yeah, I love it's that. Nice. Yeah, uh, I haven't got any organs <laughs> so far. So I've got I body parts. Good. You know, I, I was actually telling you some of the body yeah, part yeah, stories, yeah, right, yeah, that day? Yeah. Some yeah. scary ones, you know. <laughs> 
dark and like an endless hole. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to speak a little bit about um, what do you do? Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> what do you, like, what do you do? What do I not do? Uh, so you went to Malaysia to work. Person. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really interesting. So I went to Malaysia. Tell me the story. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really. I want it to sound yeah. fun, but it's not. It's just like you know, it just happened. And okay, anyway, I moved there. I went to study, hmm. uh, and I was at University of Nottingham, Malaysia, as well as UK. And then I met my you know husband, and like uh, yeah, Pakistani by I the way. I know, I know, and he's the secret he's so behind lovely. those gorgeous kids. <laughs> That is true. That I give you 50 percent credit. Just a, just a little yeah. bit. The um, cost helps yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, their personality is definitely mine. Looks his. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we met and then we just started life there. My my dad kept telling me, and I keep saying this story. Uh, so I applied for an internship at this place called Zalora. Ten years ago, it was an online company selling fashion. Like everyone's like, what? Like I'm not going to swipe a card online yeah. and get a dress. No. Yeah. So we're going to go to a mall, and I was like, oh my god, I got an internship at this uh, fashion company. And my dad was like, you can work at any blue chip company at home. <laughs> you can come and work with me, and you want to work at Zalora. Like you know, like this. You know what is this on? How can what they buy clothes tell, on yeah, there? Yeah. What do I tell people? And yeah, I'm like, my god, whatever. relatives. Yeah. So what is like, Sarah doing now? Yeah, oh. she said the <laughs> So now the funniest thing is like, you know, 10 years go like fast forward, like whenever we meet her, they're like, what do you think? She's at Zalora, you know, <laughs> she's a, she leads the strategic yeah. And I'm like, Dad, like really? Yeah. So that, That's amazing so though. It is, it is yeah. amazing. And the company, I mean, it is an e-commerce company. We started off with fashion and now we do so much. And, uh, you know, it's been, I mean, there's six markets. So it's, I've been very, very lucky to have that exposure because whoever knew e-commerce would take off. So I know. much, and I've seen that whole cycle of it. Uh, so it's good, and I think that's what also led to me being a budding entrepreneur. You yeah. know, because um, you sort of you sort of lived it and sort of took breaths of fashion into your system. So not just that. I think it was a startup culture. So when you work for a startup, you you don't do one job. You have yeah. many hats. You know, you're a marketing exec. Then you work in the warehouse. You're a buyer. You you know, you do everything. And it's almost like an entrepreneur. You know, you you wear many hats. You go through problem solving every day. And then you just become agile to it. So when I had my own, I mean, of course, I had that learning, that grounding, that profit culture to like really help me. And then really knowing the customer side of things. I know I'm boring you right now. You're like, no, no, that's stop. fine. That's fine. But um, that's good. That's good. Just but, but yeah, on. that was my. <laughs> That was my establishment, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. She really flies high with all these top Malaysian, like, you know, oh the VIPs and <laughs> stores and people like that. Now she's just flying, her, unfortunately, high with uh, me here. Just forcing you to, like, just show this in Malaysia. Make me famous in Malaysia, please. <laughs> like, I don't know whether Kuala Lumpur knows about my existence. Yeah, no. Yeah. I, I think there is a Sri Lankan there. market there. Yeah, yeah. Just make it mandatory that they all watch it. Right. Okay. 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 Let's do that. Now let's speak about your brand. I love her uh, brand because it's like. What's, his What's the name of my brand? Honey, now don't confuse me, okay? <laughs> what is the name of your brand now? That's my <laughs> and job. He's like, I love the brand. It's so good. No, it can't be. So, um, so it's available. At least the first letter. Honey, so it's available at Design Collective. No, no, no. But yeah, what is available? Dresses. No. Okay, one more try. I don't know the name of the brand. Okay, so then yeah. <laughs> it's called Janan. Huh? Uh, Janan. I knew it. It was Janan. Yeah. I knew it has something to do with the naan, but anyway, it's Janan. <laughs> but uh, I love. It's all just so flowy and yeah. graceful. Yeah, and just like you. Uh, I mean, you know. Flowy for sure. <laughs> so um, it's inspired by. Um, so actually, Janan is my daughter's middle name. Her name oh. is Arisa Janan Aga, and I mean, I had the hope of okay, you know, maybe creating this brand and one day she taking over. Recently, she told me that she doesn't want to grow up to be like me because she doesn't want to work. So I don't know how that's gonna go. Uh, but but um, no, it was just inspired by me finding a gap in the market and me being linked to beautiful Pakistani craftsmanship and you know the work that they do. And what's uh, that material that I like? The ch ch Chicken curry. Yeah. Chicken curry, right? Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful. I want that, yeah, okay? Yeah, it won't okay. fit me, but. <laughs> Customized. Yeah. We're working on that. Yeah, big time. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, yeah, I mean, um, Sri Lanka has accepted it so well, like here. And I, I think, again, like, you know, there's a gap in the market as well as. Um, you know, it's not it's not what you see every day. Yeah. And it's exclusive collection. So once you buy it, it's never going to get repeated. So there is that hunger. Yeah. I feel to get it because it's not going to you know come back again. And yeah, I'm really I'm really happy 
Brilliant. You can check it out actually. It's available at uh, the, the, the Design where, where? Collective. Design okay. Collective. And what's the name of it again? Zanan. Zanan. Jalan. Get it right. Jalan. No one's going to forget the name now because you've been. Jalan. 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 Oh. It's Jalebi and Naan put together. Jalan. Jalan. Ayo, I'm so tired now. <laughs> Please, let's eat. Let's get into a break. We'll see you after. Uh. Back with us on the show, my favorite segment where I, uh, where I can have sweet things. Uh, you changed your outfit for the design yes, as yes, well. Yes, yes, I just to like to. Me. I want to be a bit, little bit more over the top than yeah, you. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're all blinged up and all. Yeah, yeah, you're blinged up and all. She's wearing something Malaysian. <laughs> yes, the jewelry is from one of my friends' brands, Kin Jewelry. It's so nice, right? Kin, right? Kin. Kin Jewelry. Yeah. King Jewelry, just to let you know, you have been publicized in Sri Lanka. <laughs> um, uh, people like Beyonce and just Obama. These are the few people who I know who watches this show. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope your brand it's reaches. It's going to blow up now. Oh, God, yeah. it's going to explode. Uh, all right. So um, now we have spoken about your clothes. Yes. How is it to be mama? Do you cook? Yeah. Breakfast, Every lunch day? and dinner. No way. Mm. And you look like this? What do you mean? What does I, that mean? Like, can I, can't I show you like, like you are not burnt and all. No. What do you put? Like, put everything into the air fryer? Okay, fine, take it out. <gasps> no, I mean, no, my hands are not as soft as they used to be. They're okay. like, you know, hard working hands. No, I do. You know, make... all these movies in Sri Lanka has depicted mums who do yeah. household work to be like, <laughs> oh, it's it so is like, but it is like that though. Like I'm in my kaftan with my hair tied up, and I'm like, you know, kids like leave me alone, kind of a thing. It's right, just right, like right. it's not on social media. Right, but you don't you want to put mean? that image. It's not that I don't <laughs> want to. It's like, but if why you're going to be I? in your design brand, the brand that you have in that outfit, <gasps> working, you're going to look fabulous. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank I don't you. think you know. I described her uh, after we were done with the shoot, and I think she thought I was a bit of a creep. Uh, she was not talking to me the most. You're not talking to me, no? No, I'm like that though. I take my time. Have you taken enough time with me now? I think so. Ah, good. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, I described her as... Uh, how did I describe you? You are... By the way I look? Yeah, I said you are... Uh, sophisticatedly no, said, hot. Uh, yes. That's what I said. Yes. That's a compliment. I it think. is. I think yeah. that should be your tagline. No, no, no. You said respectfully hot. Uh, respectfully. Uh, yeah, both are kind of like respectfully hot. I think that's okay. what she is. Thank She's you. absolutely gorgeous. Like she, Aww. like I, I, you can just look at her and wait, and which is an amazing thing too. And uh, for me to say that, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that takes a lot. <laughs> like I'll not say that at all, uh, apart from my own reflection. That is. <laughs> so um, now, looking at Sri Lanka today, you've walked into a time when things are so uncertain yeah. and I'm sure a lot of people are going to ask you when you're back in Malaysia about Sri Lanka. Yeah. What do you think? You know, I know you're telling me something very interesting. Yeah. Internationally, yeah. it's so much more scary. It is, it is. I mean, like even for me, like looking on it on, on social media or, you know, news in, in any aspect, it's scary when you look at it, you know, from that lens and you don't know what's going to happen and it seems, and there's a lot of anger and rage which is completely justified and understandable, but then if you're not in the country, you don't feel, you know, the pulse of what's really happening. So when I came down, I didn't know what to expect and I actually went, uh, you know, for one of the protests yesterday, which was electric and amazing, whoever hasn't gone, you have to experience it at least, you know, once for support and, you know, to be a part of the movement. But essentially the message that I'm going to take back and you know to everyone um, who's not in Sri Lanka is do visit and do come home and you know it's still warm and the people are great and everything is super safe tourism you know I mean it's still beautiful you go out of Colombo and visit wherever you want you're still going to get that same experience and sure. you know I'm just waiting to come back again with the kids and you know um, you know have one of those beautiful holidays all over again um, <clears throat> so yeah I think that's what it was you know, you can be a big an entrepreneur <laughs> when you come down next time. There are a few things that you can start retailing. Soap. <laughs> Soap is something that we are really short of. Oh my god. Yeah, because if you want us to all smell good and do this, oh <laughs> you, you, you can supply soap for us. And also maybe milk powder. 
Yeah. These two could be essential. I don't think you can bring gas. That's why. No, I mean, in all honesty, it, it is something like even when I was packing my bags and coming home, all my stuff was in a hand carry, and I was bringing, you know, baby food, milk powder for friends, you know, um, and essential goods, literally yeah. for friends and family, me medicine, um, like uh, I, I don't know, for like pains and stuff like that. Class. Yeah. This was my list of goods, and two of my bags were full of essential items for home. So. No jokes. Like yeah. it, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I just hope you know everything does get better and home is home. And you know, we're just waiting for the best. Mm. So yeah. So if you do follow her, you'll come to know more details about all what she does in terms of fashion, in terms of life, in terms of uh, all types of things that she's involved in. Let's speak a little bit about the movie. Uh, this is your first film. It is. Apart from your Bollywood it debut. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're waiting for that. Uh. I bought it, you know. When you look like this, you can easily be in Bollywood. And I was like, oh. Wait, I am going to be in a Bollywood film. You still don't believe me. Okay, you, you just have to wait. You just have to wait and see. And then you'd be like, I should have got you on the show earlier. <laughs> so, yeah. But I've got you now. So, no, yeah. Okay. But anyway. When you, okay. Anyway. No, uh, what were you saying? About your film experience. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. That was so fun. And initially, I didn't, uh, I didn't want to do it. I didn't, I mean, I was almost... I didn't agree to mm. do it actually until I met Dilshara, mm. uh, who's the director, who's amazing, um, with my dad. Uh, <laughs> we went to Shang for coffee. Uh, he uh, has been all of us at coffee shops, yeah, at yeah, different yeah, yeah. coffee but shops. But he met me at like the Shang coffee shop. I heard like other coffee shops for other people. I was able to choose any coffee shop I want. Mm. I could have chosen Shang. So he kind of, okay, now anyway, where, where did you pick? I chose it was easy for me. Okay, great. Good for you. I mean, coffee is coffee. Yeah. And we all did the movie. Yeah, it's not well, a tell me about here. your shang experience. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we went there and then he pitched this movie to me. And I mean, I think why, what you know made me agree was the story line. You know, it was a love story, all that stuff, but it was fashion. The part I was playing was um, very much you, a, like. a, little, a little bit me. Yeah. And then um, also, I mean, it wasn't something very off, it wasn't like a horror movie where all like you know, I was coming back from no, the you dead. Can't or play, I was sick. You can't play horror, no? <laughs> we have people for that without makeup ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so it was quite relatable. Yeah. And um, I asked the kids, I asked my kids actually, I was like, what do you think? And you know, do you think mom should do it? And she's like, yeah, and, like, you know, my daughter's so excited. I think your daughter is a drama queen. She yeah, and she I will is. get on very well. Yeah, your eldest is. boy seems very calm, collected, and he seems a gentleman. Like, yeah, he's like his dad, like a little bit sneaky also. So, you know, <laughs> like, I mean, his, they're, they're, they're great. I mean, they're great yeah. kids, but she has a lot of sass. So the I character know. I play, Minela, uh, actually is my daughter like in real life and you know I channeled all her energy she's super <laughs> sassy and stuff like that so yeah I can't wait for that to be out as yeah, well brilliant. and you know you guys have to watch it yeah. uh, let us know how yeah Excellent. so maybe for that premiere I could wear the outfit that you're Janan. making for me Janan yeah. Janan yeah. say it Janan Janan, <laughs> Janan. alright we need to say goodbye all types of things have been told now for me to wrap <laughs> things up uh, thank you um, for being on the show I absolutely absolutely love oh. Thank you with so you much and for I think having me. I'm so glad you know who I am now. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Didn't. Like, you like know, I had no idea. I don't who you think were. you're. Yeah, actually, I did. Yeah. But you knew me, right? Tell Not it. Them. Tell it. You said you knew. <laughs> you did. Say that you have watched my shows. You said it. Don't now. Don't get back at me for me you're saying not I didn't even know. Letting who. me say it, I have. Good. But I don't know you. I didn't know That's you personally. That's okay. But I you knew of me. Like I didn't know your existence <laughs> at all. Why? I didn't even know there was an account called Sarah. Sarah. Yeah. Okay. But no. Okay. But I'm so happy that I got to know you, and I'm so happy that I had you on the show. And uh, uh, really, you are one of them. You are, you are you are just so easy, and you're so relaxed, and uh, so well put together. And uh, I hope you continue inspiring more people. Thank and you. all the best with your Bollywood <laughs> curry. <laughs> oh my God! Like, yeah. <laughs> that that uh, that that you're looking out for. Yeah. Anyway, exactly. I wish you all the way best. Thank and lots you of so love. much. Thanks so much for having me. I really, had such always, a fun time as always. always. I'm just setting up a list of things that I want from Malaysia. Anyway, that's why I had on the show. <laughs> uh, so thank you to Crystal Jade for treating us to an amazing experience of all the yummy food. You know, you know, I'm so good day. Like I thought it was oranges, but Me I did. knew what it was. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. On that note, we need to wrap things up. We will see you soon. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap. Right.